I'm like, damn, what next? Girl. A waiver, my son ain't even gonna be on the field. I know, but I guess I'm just making sure that the kids are live. I know. Yeah. I got food out in the car, but I'm. I'm gonna probably wind up walking over here sooner. Or later. The price is okay. Huh? What are the prices like? Here, baby. Two dollars for a hot dog. I'm sorry. You're fine. Just bring me more, okay? How much for a hot dog? Hmm? What's that, the second? Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Middletown, Delaware, for the um, Hall of Fame Youth Football Championships to Chesapeake Region. And here on field one, which is our highlight game, we have Paulsboro versus Eastern, the U-10s. Bonus coverage on field two. It's Paulsburg versus Violin, U7s. Terry, we have uh, some great competition here today on the field, uh, bringing it to the people around the country. So what do you think what do, we, what do you think we should expect today? Well, first of all, the big matchup that a lot of teams or a lot of people are anticipating is the matchup between Violin and Paulsburg, the seven and under. Uh, they p puts together pretty much uh, maybe two of the best in South Jersey, two of the best seven and under kids in South Jersey, and Antonio Cruz and Hayden Redmond. Again, um, this is a matchup that both have anticipated for some time now, and everybody kind of hoped it would happen. And here we are in Delaware, and it's going to happen today. So these are two young, gifted kids with talent like no other. It's unbelievable to see them run and to believe that, you know, they have some of the uh, skills that they do as – being six and seven years old, so it's going to be a great matchup. Yes, it is going to be a great matchup. Uh, Hayden Redmond, the son of Isaac Redmond, the Pittsburgh Steeler, uh, Bowie, Bowie Merlin, Bowie State athlete, that still holds the record at Bowie, just went up on the Hall of Fame at Bowie. Uh, his son is really very exceptional with a lot of gift, crafty moves. And um, that Antonio Cruz, who um, we've been watching all year, we kind of like ranked him as one of the top seven – Seven-year-olds in the nation as a, as a tailback. So Eastern with the ball. And Eastern just runs a sweep and gains about three yards over here on field one. And this matchup over here on Eastern and Paulsburg should be a great matchup as well. I've seen this Eastern team play earlier, and we know Paulsburg has great tradition amongst his Little League team. So it should be a good game all the way around the board. Eastern running to the outside again. Uh, fourth down coming up. Four for three for Eastern. Got the U10 on the field one. Okay, over here on field two. Uh, looks like uh, we have a timeout. Violent. This is the U7 game. Okay, back to field one. Got a fourth and three for Eastern, and they go for it, and they run off tackle. Get a first down. He's coming up the middle. 
He's at the 20, the 15, the 10, five. Touchdown, Eastern. Okay, over here in field two. Violent, all right, it's a fumble, the ball's on the ground. Violent picks it up. Looks like they gained a few yards on it, so now they are after the penalty. Looks like it's gonna be third down and nine for Violent on the U7, to, uh, over here on field two, the U7s. Violent gets right on the ball. So what do you think, Terry, so far? We've seen the ball on the ground here early for Violin. Well, not much doing yet so far. They've actually only run, I believe, two plays. So we'll see if they can get Cruz going early here. And there's a handoff. And he drop, jumps outside. Uh, it's Antonio Cruz. Oh, and he's tripped up. He's tripped up by the other great. Looks like... When I wasn't red, man, I can't pick the number out on that player. Number 23 for Ballsworth saved the touchdown run there. Okay, we're over on field one. Eastern about to kick off. Okay, back to field two. Violin with the ball. The ball at about the 25 yard line, second down and 15. And Violin runs outside of San Antonio and he's going down the outside. And on our other field in the Violin game, we see Violin scores first. So Violin is going to take a 6 nothing lead against Pawsborough. So there we have it. Vinan gets on the board first. They get the conversion, and Vinan leads Pawsburg seven and under, seven to nothing.
And Paulsburg again is going to do a run and play on first down against Eastern. Again, both of these Paulsburg teams had great seasons. They're freshman and sophomore team here in Delaware. They're in the seven and under and the ten and under. Pawsburg is going to have his first possession of the game here. And that was a fumble by Paulsburg. So Violin's going to take over. Violin with a 7 nothing lead. And again, we find out that this game here between Violin and Paulsburg, the winner of this game will be going to Canton, Ohio. So the stakes have now become even higher for these two teams here. There's a penalty on the play. Oh no, wait, I'm I'm Pierce Paulsburg had twelve men on the field. That's a long Oh, it is 
That's a good play defensively there by Paulsburg. Bring up a second down. About three. Back on field one, and there's Eastern. Number one go, goes off tackle. After a loss on first down, that was second down and 12. And he gains like four yards to make it third down and eight for Eastern on the U-10 game versus Paulsburg. Okay, back over here on field two. Violent with a tough run there. Is that Antonio? Antonio Cruz, another touchdown for Violent.
Antonio the Squirrel Cruz, number 22, one of the top running backs at the U7 age group in the nation, has two scores here today. He breaks a long one there, a special kid. Okay, Eastern on the attack over here at the U10, and they run a sweep, and he breaks the corner. Number one for Eastern, touchdown. We're back over here on field two. The extra point attempt. And it's good. I tell you what, uh, this kid, Cruz, he, he's a hard runner. I know I've seen some of his highlights earlier this season. Seemed to have a lot of finesse, but on that touchdown run, you've seen how he can actually put a hat on a kid as he ran someone over on his way to the touchdown. Yes, so. he did, Terry Collins. And I, and I really uh, give that young man a lot of respect because these other kids at the 7U age bracket in the nation better watch out for him and Canton because he looks like he's ready. Okay, over here on field one, we had an extra point attempt coming up by Eastern. They ran a pitch to the left. Number four gets out there and he's in for the score. So as we wait for some scores to come up to us, we'll give them to you shortly on both these highlighted games of the day. Paulsburg participating in both games on the U10 age group, Paulsburg versus Eastern on the field one. And on field two, Paulsburg versus Violin. All four New Jersey teams, they don't play during the season in New Jersey, but they're here meeting in the regionals for the right to go to Canton, Ohio for the call to the hall. NFL Hall of Fame New Football National Championships. So, Vaughn and lining up the kickoff to Paulsburg, and Paulsburg in his first possession, we didn't get to see much because they did fumble the ball, so we can expect in this possession to see the young, talented Hayden Redman get some reps, and Paulsburg is going to look to try to get on the board to cut into this deficit. And again, they're going to ride the wave of Redman as they have some other teams and players as well, so. Paulsburg breaks one over here on field one. Touchdown, Paulsburg. And that's just what Paulsburg needed because, again, things are, it seems Eastern is playing a little more aggressively. But, again, there you see the big play potential of some of these Paulsburg kids as a long touchdown run was broke. So Paulsburg has the lead here in the game, in the 10 and under game. And now we see. And that, actually, there's a penalty on the play, so that's touchdown is going to be called back. over here on field two. Uh, 
So we have a delay and some action here on both fields. So just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with more action for Middletown, Delaware, the Chesapeake Region National Championships. Okay, over here on field one, a touchdown. There was a penalty. Uh, Sharper had ran a 56-yard touchdown kickoff return. The penalty got uh, negated that. But uh, Paul's Brook still has the ball at approximately midfield here against Eastern, trailing in the game. Paul's comes, runs off tackle. Gains about two. The balls were up the middle. Looks like they got a good gain. It could be a first down over here on field one. And there's a penalty against Paulsburg over here on field one. Okay, over on field two, we have uh, Paulsburg still with the ball. It looks like Hayden cracks up in the middle. Hayden gains, oh, nice hit. That's the six-year-old sensation. Hayden Redman, the son of Isaac Redman from the Pittsburgh Steelers, number 33. They called him Red Zone Redman when he played in the NFL. A great player out of Paulsburg High School. Still has the touchdown record there. I think, what's, how many touchdowns he has, Terry? 37 touchdowns in the season. Uh, also, he was a state champion in wrestling. Back on field one. Paulsburg with uh, no gain there. Okay, Paulsburg back on the center. Quarterback back on the center. And run a play, they come to the outside, and Wiley strings it out. Time at Paulsboro on field one. And there's a touchdown on the play by Vineman. Looks like they ran a reverse. And this game is getting a little out of hand now, getting away from Paulsburg. Let me get that 
And Ron is going to line up for the conversion here. And the conversion here for Violin is no good. So again, Violin now has a three possession lead here. And Paul's will get another opportunity with the ball. They'll see if they can get their young workhorse, Hayden Redmond, started. And again, Paul's will have some other talented players at this age level. And they're going to need to get something going on this possession here. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, sir. 
Now we see a good run by, I believe that was Redmond. Bring up a third and short for Paulsburg. So that's going to be the end of the first half here for the seven and under game, Paulsburg and Vineland. As, again, Vineland with a three-touchdown lead here. And we're going to be back with more ex action for the second half of this game coming up next. So there we have the kickoff for the start of the second half for Paulsburn. A, a great kickoff return. A lot of effort in that one. And Paulsburn will start its first possession of the second half. So, field one, Eastern and Paulsburg, we have 14 nothing. Eastern leads Paulsburg. And on field two, Vinland leads Paulsburg in the seven and under game, 20 to nothing. Right? Yeah. 
There's a fumble on that play. Fumble on the play, and I believe Vineland recovered. So Vonin did recover and they're gonna take over possession here. There's a touchdown by Vineland as they capitalize on the fumble. And that's going to be a touchdown run by Antonio the Squirrel Cruz. So that's going to make it 26 nothing Vineland. Again, looks like Pawsburg had things working and was going to have an opportunity to score, but a big run and a fumble, which was recovered by Vineland, and Vineland immediately capitalizes next play on a touchdown run by Cruz. So the conversion for Vineland is good, and that makes it 27 <coughs> nothing Vineland in the seven and under game. Oh, 
Okay, on field one, we have Eastern just scored another touchdown. They're up 20 to nothing over Paulsburg. That's the U-10s. And over on field two, we got Violin over Paulsburg, 26 to nothing at U-7 age group. Oh, 
Flag on the play over here on field one. Over here on field two, that was Antonio Cruz on the tackle, number 22. Okay, back over here on field one. It's a loss on the play there for Paulsburg. A great defensive play by the Eastern team. Okay, over, over on field two, Paulsburg scores. 
to make the score 26 to 6. And we're waiting for the extra point attempt to come. Okay, we're on field one, and Eastern on the attack. You're running a sweep to the left. He breaks out, number 12, gets down near the goal line, but he's tackled short of the 10-yard line. on field one and number one up the middle he's tackled short And it looks like that's the game over here on field one. Eastern will advance at the U10 age group. Eastern wins over Paulsburg 24 to six. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, on that field one score is 20 to nothing. Eastern over Paulsboro. So Eastern from Voorhees, New Jersey, moves on in the Chesapeake region to a semifinal. And now we'll switch over the game to our bonus coverage over to uh, the U7s. Violent has the ball. He dropped back the pass. He throws a deep pass. Seven-year-old throw a deep pass. Incomplete pass. And that's the end of the game. At the U7, Violent will move on. Violin wins 26 to six over Paulsburg for Violin, New Jersey. Moves on at the U7 age group to the semifinals of the Chesapeake Region Regional Championships for the right to go to Canton, Ohio to play for a national championship.
So, Terry, uh, we were looking for two big games here today between Paulsburg or between New Jersey battles between uh, Paulsburg and, and Eastern at the U10. And, and Violin and Paulsburg. Seven un, 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 and under. Yeah, U7. And again, sometimes, you know, the expectations coming into the game don't always equal out. Once, you know, the game's played on the field. That's why we always say the game is played on the field. So definitely two talented teams uh, despite the score of the game today. You know, Paulsburg had an excellent season. Um, and Violin has had an excellent season as well. And Violin's going to continue and move on to Canton, Ohio. Um, can never take away credit from those kids from Paulsburg. But as we've seen, um, Violin's number 22, Antonio Cruz, definitely a, a great player. And, he proves his worth here today with um, the, some of the running we've seen, some of the plays he made um, with taking hits and delivering punishment. So, again, congrat congratulations to that Vineland team. Also, congratulations to the Fallsburg 7 and under team who back in uh, Fallsburg, New Jersey, had a great season as well. So, it's going to be real interesting to see how this uh, Antonio Cruz matches up uh, going into Canton, Ohio, with some uh, other competition across the U.S. So, and also a great season on the other field. Eastern's going to continue to move on. Their hundred team winning big today, and again, Paulsburg's ten and under team, their sophomore team, also had a great season as well this year. So, hats off to both of those programs. But Eastern to move on, and again, Violin automatically gets the automatic bid to Canton after a big win today. So. Yeah, Terry. Yeah, that's you're, you're right about everything there, Terry. Um, Got to give a lot of respect to Paulsburg, the losing team. They do put out a lot of top athletes, um, uh, professional athletes in, in the league of NFL. Um, they they do a good job there, and you know the kids did play hard. Uh, they did just fall short today, but uh, put it this way, Terry. From where I look at it, everybody in. Um, at this level, it looks to be at Paulsburg's level because Paulsburg has really dominated over the years in Group One, anyhow, and and most of the midget football. So, you know, everybody's learning and, and catching on. These kids are really training hard at all levels, and uh, it's a great experience here today, this weekend, for these young men who are to get an opportunity to play in, a, in such an event like this. <laughs> okay, we have the uh, presentation for the championship team over there on field two. Violin gets their invite to go to Canton, Ohio with Tony Antonio the Cruz. Antonio the Squirrel Cruz. And there is Vonnie getting their official invite to head to Canton, Ohio. And I know they're excited about that opportunity. And that right there is what makes it worth being here and playing here in this tournament. So it's still early. We have a lot of great games to look forward to the rest of the way today. I know the Woodbury 14 U team will be playing at 2 o'clock. They have an excellent team, one of the probably best senior teams or 14 and under teams in the state of New Jersey, possibly. Definitely probably the number one team, the top three team easily in South Jersey region. So they'll be playing Maze Landing here. And again, they have some good competition here in Middletown, Delaware for the Hall of Fame tournament, the National Youth Football Championship. And again, everybody has one goal coming into this, and that's to answer the call to the hall and to move forward and advance to Canton, Ohio. So a lot of good teams, a lot of good matchups here this weekend. And again, we'll be uh, here all weekend up until Sunday. 
We'll try to get you a list of some of the other matchups later on. I know a big matchup tomorrow. We're looking forward to that Woodbury versus Fallsburg 12 and under matchup. Again, those are two crosstown rivals who have now come to Middletown, Delaware, and will face each other. So, again, looks to be an exciting weekend for youth football. Uh, especially for South Jersey and some of their teams here. We've seen some great action last night from some other teams, uh, one being from Pennsylvania. We've seen some a lot of uh, great players as well. So hopefully we'll continue to have some good games and we'll see some even better matchups as we see Washington Township. Looks like their seven and under team is going to be taking the field shortly as they – enter the stadium now. <laughs> As we continue to see the presentation there for Vineland. And we're going to try to attempt to get interviews with some of that coaching staff as, as well as Antonio Cruz.